Um, this is that fish breeder here with another update video on my triops. This is day uh, six, I believe. Uh, so here I have the triops again. Um, this time they have grown a lot bigger. And if yesterday you thought they were big, today you will be incredibly amazed at just how large they are. Okay, so there he is. Messing around with a piece of bark there. Yeah, he's a lot bigger. Okay, he's about the same size as the fairy shrimp. Uh, and if you recall from yesterday and a couple of videos ago, the fairy shrimp was like twice his size. So, in other words, he's doubled in size in one night. So, even, so that's pretty incredible. Um, yeah, that's just amazing if you ask me. Um, that's what makes Trap so cool. Uh, another thing is that, uh, I think all the food is actually gone. So, I had a little bit of food flowing around in here. And as you can see, there's nothing except for the wood. Uh, the wood is the darkest black stuff, and the food would have been about a greenish-brown color. There is no greenish-brown anywhere. Uh, so, in other words, they're doing great. Um, uh, there's the fair shrimp. Let's see, there's a tryout, but... Uh, oh, strange. Seems like the fair shrimp just disappeared. Uh, anyways, as I was saying... Um, so, I think he ate one of the other triops because there is no other triop. Uh, uh, so, it ends up I'm gonna have one triop again. But, that's okay because breeding them is quite easy because they're hermaphrodites. So, in other words, they're asexual and they don't need a mate. So, they basically... Yeah, that's basically it. Um, so that's, uh, it's going pretty well. Um, one thing is that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's small piles over there, and that's a lot of, uh, shed skin, I believe, for, because they shed their skin in order to grow their exoskeleton, and, uh, a lot of fecal matter. So, I think that I will need to clean the tank. Let me check the instructions here. So, um, let's see. So, here's the instruction manual. Uh, let's see. So, today is day six. Yeah, today's day six. So, day six and seven. Starting on day six, use the pipette to remove all waste and excess excess food from the bottom of the cup do this every day now on to keep the tank water clear and clean so it's kind of clear oh there's a fairy shrimp by the way so you can see how slow he's moving there just move because i hit the table but um so day six and seven uh it also says if you see that your traps have eaten all the food from the previous day and my trap has See, not the Daphnia. Crush one green and one brown pellet and feed half to your triops. Alright, so, um, uh, is this regarding both day six and seven? Because it says right there, day six and seven, but, yeah, I'm guessing so. So, I think today I will feed one uncrushed, oh, wait, oh, I'm sorry, I misread this. It says right there, crush one green and one brown pellet and feed half. Oh, okay. Um, um, yeah, so I think, actually, that might not be enough for him, considering how much he's eating, but, uh, I'll reconsider number two, but, number one, uh, yeah, they give you a pipette for this, uh, for this specific kit, the, uh, test tube one, the other kinds don't, but, let's see, the pipette is right there yeah see it's a little plastic pipette here um i've used this before 
and it is so cheap it sucks like um it's it doesn't really suck up anything uh if you put it in a it'll only suck up the amount of to which the water level is for it so for example if you put it inside like this tank here uh it'll only go down to that deep so it's about up to here the water level and that's all and that's and it doesn't suck anymore so in other words if you uh squeeze it and suck it in it's not gonna suck up the whole thing it's only gonna suck up up to the water level which is here i don't know why it does that but it's super cheap it sucks um the plastic here at the seams are about to break so if i keep tweezing it it'll probably snap um so i never use this anymore uh so for people who are wondering how to clean the tank, got a lot of other options. So I would never use that pipette. Just it's horrible. Um, here we got a syringe. There we go. A syringe made by Embra Mac. Uh, you can get any kind really from any company, any size. I recommend just this size. It doesn't really matter. Uh, sorry about that. Um, these are really cheap, I think. They're like 2 to $5, depending on how big the fluid it can contain. Uh, this one I actually got for free because my father, he was, uh, he bought a ink, like an ink refilling kit for like your, uh, printer to refill the ink and... Uh, it came with two of these, so my dad gave me one of these, and it's really good. Um, like, you can use these for basically anything. I use this one for um, sometimes feeding, like, worms, like tube effects worms or stuff like that. Or, oh, But most of the time I use this for uh, harvesting live, live uh, baby brine shrimp because I do hatch them occasionally every couple of weeks or so just for a treat but this is what I use and I'm probably gonna use this as well but another thing which is just as good as that and it's actually probably better if you ask me uh, well for cleaning a child's tank uh, let's see if I have it here it is a turkey baster let's see okay so here's a turkey baster I use this sometimes for cleaning my guppies tank yeah, they always do this whenever I come because they think I'm going to feed them. I should clean their tank as well. Um, anyways, back to the topic. Um, so yeah, you can use these. They're, they're really, uh, they can go down really far. So if you have like a 10-gallon tank, it'll work as you can see here. Yeah, it'll go all the way to the bottom of your 10-gallon tank. So obviously it's going to work for this little thing here. So um, yeah, it'll definitely, but... Uh, that's what, this is what I used to use, but instead I think I'm just going to use a syringe. Uh, as I was saying, um, basically that's it as far as Triops tank is going. Um, I'm not sure actually what I'm going to do with that fairy shrimp that I'm keeping here. There is a fairy shrimp. And the awesome chop in the background. Yeah, see, if you notice, as he's swimming past the fairy shrimp, uh, he's, like, I think he's the same size, maybe even bigger, but I think he's actually the same size. So, he's doing great. Uh, the fairy shrimp, I honestly, uh, I don't know a lot about fairy shrimp, so I'm not sure if they're om omnivores or herbivores or whatnot. I think they're herbivores because, you know, they eat algae and whatnot, but I'm not sure if they eat uh uh meat of any kind so if you could type below in the comments and tell me if they're herbivores or omnivores or carnivores please tell me uh because i don't know how he's growing because obviously the fairy shrimp is growing because of his size but i don't know what he's eating because all i've been feeding is daphne uh so far that is so he's got to be eating something um, I'm not sure if I want to move the fairy shrimp to a different tank because I don't know if I want to just let the trap eat them. 
Uh, I don't know. I'll see, but I'll be clean cleaning the tank. All right. Um, watch out for more videos and Batfish Breeders signing out.